Hi, I'm astronaut Mike Massimino. Earlier this year, I flew aboard Space Shell Atlantis to the Hubble Space Telescope. My crewmates and I spent more than two years training for that mission, and now another crew is getting ready to fly on Atlantis, and they're going to the International Space Station. They've been working hard to get ready for their flight, and they've let us follow them around for the past few weeks with a camera. We're about to show you some of that footage, and you're gonna get an up-close view of the crew, go inside their training, and hear some of the stories from the astronauts and their team. This is STS-129 behind the scenes, and we hope you enjoy it. Extra vehicular activities, extra, outside the vehicle, so EVA. That's what we refer to from now on. <laughs> anyway, so these guys, they're the three spacewalkers uh, on our mission. I am their, what's called the suit IV. Well, I'm the guy that helps. Now, what's this IV mean? You IV. talked about EVA. Yeah. Now, what is this IV? Intervehicular. Okay. Inside the vehicle. All right. So, when it comes to the suits, inside the vehicle, I'm the guy that, basically, I'm the guy that helps them get everything ready. I'm the guy that suits them up. Along with, uh, I think, Nicole Stott is another suit IV for this mission. She's on Space Station right there. now. She's already there. She should be able to help you out because she's there already. She's there, yeah. She should know what's this. going on, where they hide stuff and everything. So this right. is the fifth or sixth all-day session we've had with this prep and post where we are, again, going through the processes, the steps, the, the, the uh, procedures to make sure we get everything in line, checked yeah. off. So when these guys go out the door, everything's hooked up right, yeah. everything's connected, all the systems right. in their suits work right, right. and uh, so that's what we're doing today. Now, big thing about this, they're going to be locked inside of that space suit. The EVAs are playing, the spacewalks are playing for what, six and a half hours, right? Six and a half, seven hours. Okay, well, that's six and a half hours, that's the time when they put the battery power on. True. Until the time they come in and close the hatch. That's exactly More right. or less. But they're in the suit a lot longer than oh, that. They have longer. to do a yeah. pre -brief. So they're in the suit probably for about eight hours or so at least. Uh, eight to nine. Push eight to nine, nine hours and on, if a normal trans on a normal flow. And if the spacewalk runs long, like sometimes the spacewalk goes seven, eight hours even. Right. To get, you know, you might be in that suit for like nine or ten hours. Long so time. There's nothing to eat inside of that space. They got suit. a little 32 ounces of water in a bag that's kind of flattened around their chest right. with a hose that comes up that they can, of course, they can't grab it with their hand and stick nope. in their mouth because their hands are not right. inside their suit. Right. So they can grab the, the, the right. tube, suck on that. So 32 ounces of water for eight to you, ten hours. You're going to probably practice getting that inside the bag. Yes, exactly. And the other thing is, is that, so there's no snacks. So they have to, you know, they want to use the potty and eat and get all that ready. But the other yes. thing is, is comfort inside of that suit. Sure. And so probably, I bet what these guys have that you're going to have to pay attention to is trying to make them as comfortable as possible before you lock them in. Very true. So it's like little pads and little uh, pads, no, no whatever they need. wrinkles, you know, all that stuff yeah. worked out before right. you snap them up. Exactly. And, and some of these guys may have like little uh, things, like for me, the ear pads in the in the com cap yeah. would fold my ear down if I left this. Oh yeah, it was that's terrible. Right, so I would move those you things down. Eight hours of this? It's horrible. Oh, right, it happened to me once in the pool and then no more. Oh.